Alright, hello everyone. I will be showing you how to um, scratch with the mouse and keyboard today in Virtual DJ. Um, so first of all, you want to have your Virtual DJ open. And you want to set up your keyboard shortcuts for your crossfader right here. So you can easily... Here, let me set it up here. So you can easily crossfade. Because you're going to probably need this. And so, how we're going to do that in Virtual DJ 7, you're going to go up here to configure. You're going to go to mappers. Sorry about that. And then, you're going to find this right here. You're going to find like crossfader stuff, but it's probably not going to have the same numbers that I have. So first of all, I want to set it up for the first crossfader will be on, let me move this out of the way really quick. The crossfader right here. So the first crossfader that's on the top will, oh my god, hang on a minute. Yeah, so you'll have to, it's not letting me touch over here, so the crossfader that's on the top will apply to when the crossfader slider is all the way over here this one right here will apply to when it's in the middle and this one right here will apply to it's when, when it's on the right so what you want to do is to make this one be on the left just go over here and just erase the number that it has and put it to zero so it'll be on the way left and then for the key up here, I just use a comma because it's easiest. Because you'll see why in a second here. And then for this one to make it in the middle, 50 isn't all the way in the middle, so I put it to 51. So erase that number that's right here and put in 51. And the key I put is a period since it's right since it's on the right of the comma. So it'll be in the middle. And then this one right here, you want it to be on the way right, so what you want to do here is change this number to 100. So you come over here, erase the number that's here, and put it to 100%. And then I put it as the backslash, which is, right, which is on the right of the period. So, yeah, it'll be easy. And then this one I haven't really worried about, because I'm not going to be using it. So then, if you did it correctly, you can come in, press comma. I'll show you with my camera really quick. It will be right here, comma, period, and backslash. So then if you press comma, watch what happens. It goes on the way left. Press period, goes in the middle. Press the backslash, goes to the right. So you basically have your three keys set up right here. Yeah, you get it. All right, now in order, so you have the keyboard stuff set up now. So now you want to set up how you're going to be scratching and everything. So you take a little sample, like I recorded mine earlier today. I just recorded me saying yeah into the camera and put it on my computer as an MP3 file. You drag it up here, put it on this deck, and let's hear what it sounds like. Yeah. 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 So. Yeah. There we go. And then you want to take the song that you want to scratch along to. Let's just do. Hmm. Everyone knows this song. Hopefully. Yeah, you all know that song. So if you want to scratch along to this, you just take your yeah, like click wherever you want, doesn't really matter, and click play on this song. Yeah, 
And then with the keyboard shortcuts here, you can just yeah, just mess around with the crossfader. See, it sounds good. But so anyways, that's the basics of it, so if you have any questions, comments, private message me or leave a comment and I'll be happy to answer it the best I can. Alright, see you guys later. Thanks for watching.